who doesn't want to put massive amounts of gold glitter on their face. All right, so today we have a holiday glam kind of look. How is it already almost December? I need to whip out the Hanukkah bush soon. I was feeling just throwing glitter on my face today, so that is what happened. A lot of the products I use today are either from the Korean beauty haul video that I did last, link it down below, or from Glambot, which you guys know is one of my obsessions in life. If you guys haven't heard of Glambot, they basically sell pre-owned products. They have freaking bomb sales lately. They have a huge sale coming up for Cyber Monday and Black Friday. They're gonna have like a dollar store section. Lots of good stuff. I do have a 30% off coupon code if you're a first time Glambot shopper. I'll link it down below. If you've already shopped on there, make sure you sign up for their email newsletters. That's how I always get on their sales because Shit sells out fast on there. The 30% off code is only good for the first 72 hours, so make sure you go ahead and utilize that. If you guys want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. What we do here is go back, 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 back. All right, it is Sunday and we are leper robing it up today. Got the girls mug. Let's do this. By the way, the next season of Girls comes out in like a couple months. Who's excited? I am. So I've already washed and primed my face. I just used the Urban Decay to Slick in a Tube primer for the first time from Glambot. This is a mattifying gel primer. If you've used the Makeup Forever mattifying primer, that's been my like go-to mattifying primer lately. I don't know why, but my skin, I think my skin is dry, so it's starting to like overproduce oil because it's winter, I don't know. My skin has been getting a little bit oily throughout the day, so I've been using that primer. I really like that one. It works super well, but it feels super tight on your face like you feel like you just had some botox done this one doesn't feel quite as tight right now so far so good we'll see how it wears throughout the day for foundation today we're going to be mixing the kat von d lock it tattoo foundation this is in the shade l42 that they discontinued for a little bit and then they brought it back hallelujah and the leo la bb cream this one is way too dark for my skin and this one is way too light for my skin so we're gonna have a foundation baby. I'm just gonna mix these on the back of a palette right now. On my Too Faced Born This Way foundation review, there were a lot of comments saying to review this foundation, so I figured I'd whip it out and try it out again. I wasn't a huge fan of it back in the day. Why is this having issues coming out? It's like full. By itself, it is way too thick and cakey looking on my skin for my liking, even when I apply it with like a beauty blender or something. So I'm gonna try mixing it in with a few different products and see which I like best and maybe we'll do a review on it. Mixing it up. It is super full coverage, so I did about half a pump of that and then a pump of Leo Ellie, and we're just gonna tap away. My favorite foundation brush of life. Oh, I'm not wearing earrings. This is a really good time to put on earrings when you have foundation all over your hand. Good ideas, Taylor. I would just like to note that I washed my hair two days in a row this week. That is a world record for me. So my favorite foundation brush ever is the Sigma F82 brush. This guy, it's a round kabuki brush. It is amazing for blending out foundation and giving you really good coverage. I think I have a 20% off code of Sigma, so I'll link it down below. Even though they are pretty pricey, foundation brushes for me are worth the investment. I've had this since like freshman year of college, I think. My skin went through a really good phase and then went through a really bad phase again like a week ago and it's just now starting to clear back up. I started using the Foreo, Foreo Luna Mini and I actually really freaking like it. I think I'm going to have a whole review coming on that bad boy, but that was the only thing I switched up in my skincare routine and my skin started clearing up again, so I don't know. It's a lot less abrasive, I guess, than the, what's it called? Clarisonic. It is a little bit difficult to blend out. I don't know if that's just because this is a thicker combination of foundation or the primer is just a little bit difficult to blend out on top of, but it's not like gliding on super smooth or anything. So I'm just gonna go back over spots that need a little more coverage. I'm gonna take a dampened sponge and just kind of pounce over the foundation, my face. This is actually by IT Cosmetics and it comes with their new dual-ended foundation stick and I actually like this so much better than the Beauty Blender. It has this flat side right here like the Real Technique sponge but then it goes up into a point so you can get like under your eye and things. It's just great. Like I don't know why I like this so much better than the Beauty Blender but it doesn't soak up as much product for me. I don't know if you can buy it separately, but even though the foundation stick isn't my favorite, I would totally buy it just for the sponge. Zooming in a little bit, my eyebrows are a little bit cray right now. I'm going through a phase where they're just like not working with me, you know what I'm saying? So I picked up the So Susan 
concealer quad. I've never seen this brand, heard of this brand or anything. I saw it on Glambot and I saw that there was like a white concealer. So obviously had to try it out. So I think I'm going to mix these two lightest shades for under my eyes. Ooh, this feels pretty dried out. I'm like full on rubbing. This will be interesting. Maybe it just needs to be warmed up a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if this will work for under the eyes. Let's try and spot conceal and see what happens. Nothing's really happening. Yeah, I don't think this will work for under the eyes. So we're going to go in with a different concealer. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the dark circle eraser. I haven't used this in a while. Kind of forget what I think about this. I think it's like super pink, like it's a salmon concealer. And there's not a whole lot left. I've been trying this new thing where I use up all of my products before I attempt to buy new ones, like drugstore makeup especially, because I have a shit ton. Um, so the next empties video is going to be a little, little cry. Whoa, this sponge just kind of came off. This is super salmon. I'm liking it though. When you blend it out, it just looks super brightening, which I like. I fell asleep at 2 last night and then woke up at 6.30 wide awake. Dark circles are on a whole new level right now. It is already starting to crease on my lids a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and set that super quick. Using Physicians Formula Correcting Powder, like always. Oh yeah, we're looking real awake now. Oh, before I forget, a couple people have mentioned that I mentioned that I'm doing a 100,000 subscriber giveaway and it hasn't been up yet. I am still doing that, so stay posted. I just had a couple giveaways on Instagram and one... I think on Twitter before. So I'm just trying to kind of space them out, but that is still coming. I have the whole box. I'm gonna let the foundation set a little bit before we put on bronzer and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go in with brows. I got the Ardell Dark Brow, uh, what is this, brow pomade. I actually got this at Cosmo Prof, but I'm pretty sure you can get this at like Fred Meyer or any drugstore. Haven't heard anything about this yet, so let's see. I'm guessing this is supposed to be similar to like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which I use almost every day. It comes with a double-ended brush, which is nice. There's a spoolie on one end and then this angled one, which actually looks really nice. It's like pretty stiff, which I like. So let's just spoolie these out. It looks like it has a little bit of a red tint in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but we'll see. Ooh, it's like super creamy. So far I like it, super easy to work with. And you kind of can just work with what's already on your brow. You don't have to keep dipping in and going back. The one thing I love about the dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills is that it lasts for freaking ever. So if this stuff lasts as well, I think this is like a total dupe. So far, I'm really liking this stuff. I was going to go in with the Etude House brow gel that I got. And I mentioned this in my Korean beauty haul. But it is way too light and red. Like, look at that. So we're just going to go in with my Ulta Brow Tint that I use every single day and I love. For eye primer, I'm going to go with this Proof 10 eye primer. I haven't tried this out yet. This was also in the Korean beauty haul. I haven't tried this. I've heard it's really good. So we're just going to... Oh, it looks like super watery kind of or something. Not a whole lot of like color pigment in it. Oh yeah. Interesting. It's kind of like blending away my concealer. So I'm just going to pat it in. I feel like this is one of those eye primers that kind of has to like dry and set before you go in with shadow. I'm going to go ahead and set that with just a creamy, just like a white eyeshadow. It just feels like it needs to be set, you know what I mean? It's like starting to crease a little bit. Whoa, what is happening? Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but whatever shadows we put on top will cover it up. So I think we're going to do a reddish, goldish, holiday, winter, glam kind of look. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I am in love with this thing. I don't know why I put off buying this for so long, but it is freaking amazing. I've been using it almost every single day. They just have really good, like, basic colors. I'm just taking the shade right here. We're going to put this all in the crease. Don't you love when there's, like, one eyebrow hair that won't stay in place? Next, I'm going to go in the NARS Steven Klein palette from Glambot, and this is actually a highlight blush palette. This is in Vengeful, but I think we're going to use this shade and try it on our eyes, and then I'm going to use this as a cheek highlight. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be, so we'll just go to town. Ooh. Okay, it's actually like a super pretty cranberry shade on your eyes. So I'm just kind of blending this on the outer third and blending it up into the crease a little bit. It's actually super pretty. I think this is the first time I've ever done eyes before 
the rest of my face. Okay, next I'm going to take this J.Cat Beauty triple baked eyeshadow thing. I freaking love these. I did a whole Instagram post on them and swatched them, but these are beautiful. I feel like this is like a totally underrated product. These are like $6 from Ulta. This is in the shade Cherry Fudge Sunday, and they're just absolutely beautiful. I think I'm going to take this middle shade first and just put this all over the lid. Look at how pretty that is. I'm just bringing this all the way into my inner corner and then blending it outwards. I'm kind of feeling glitter. I think we're going to do it. I haven't done a look with glitter. Whoa, why are we blue? There we go. This is just one of the glitters from the MAC Holiday Collection a couple years ago. You can use any gold glitter that you have. You can get little glitter packets from Sally Beauty for like $2, and those work just fine. Any like finely milled glitter will do. So I like to actually use eyelash glue to apply glitter to the lid. There are lots of different ways that you can do it. Um, certain brands make like actual glitter glues, but I'm just going to brush a little bit of this on top of the lid, then go straight in with the glitter. So I'm just dipping this straight in, my brush straight into the glitter. There's gonna be glitter everywhere. Oh, that just got on my crease, good. So we're just gonna pack that baby on. If you don't want a ton of fallout, you should probably do your face makeup first. I mean, your eye makeup first. I didn't really think that through. Glitter was kind of an impromptu decision. The eyelash glue does hold it on pretty well though. But yeah. Gotta love some glitter. I'm not bringing this all the way to my outer third because I do still want the outer third to be dark, like smoked out a little bit. So I'm just using a powder brush to kind of dust off any glitter flex. Ooh, got a glitter mustache going on. Oh good. Now that we have that down, I'm gonna go back in with the shade and light palette and I'm just gonna go in with, I think the black. And just place this on the outer third, the V. There we go, the V. And just blend this a tiny bit into the crease. I think I am going to bring the gold a little bit farther out just because I don't want it to like abruptly stop right there. We have our glitter on. I would definitely suggest doing your eyes first if you decide to do this look. We're having a glitter party on the face. So I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner, Oh My Eye line. This was also in the Korean Beauty haul. This is just a good liquid eyeliner with a super fine point, so I think it'll be decent to go over glitter. Glitter is always hard to go over with eyeliner. We're gonna do lashes too, so I think I'm just gonna do a super thin line. It's actually going over the glitter pretty well. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the J-Cat Beauty trio and go in with this red shade down here. We're just going to blend this on the lower lash line. I'm going to take a flat liner brush and go back in with the black eyeshadow from Kat Von D and just kind of use this as eyeliner and just kind of press it in to the outer third on the lower lash line. I'm going to take this white eyeliner from ColourPop and just put this on the waterline. You can do waterline eyeliner without opening your mouth. You're a freaking magician. Okay, last step for the eyes, I'm gonna go back in with this NARS duo and take this gold shade and put this on the inner corner on the bottom lash line. Ooh, that's a super pretty shade. Since we have some pretty crazy glitter going on, I'm gonna apply a coat of mascara before we put on falsies. I usually do it after falsies, but I just wanna make sure the lashes are fully coated and they don't have like glitter all over them. Just changed out of the leopard robe. It's getting pretty toasty. What are we doing? Mascara is drying. Let's do bronzer. My favorite bronzer of life lately has been the Body Shop Honey Bronze. It is amazing. It blends out beautifully. Oh, shit. Our foundation is fully set now. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of this on my temples as well. So for a cheek highlight, we're gonna try out this quad, no, duo again. Oh, heck yeah. That is actually beautiful. Do you guys see that? Highlight, for some reason, is always so hard to show up on camera. I think it's like the angle of the light. The thing I love about Glambot is that you can get limited edition stuff that's not like $200 overpriced like it is on eBay. I'm also running this down the bridge of my nose in Cupid's bow. Whew, 
It is hot in here. What the heck? Going in with this Too Faced blush. Also, I'm so jealous of the people who have snow right now. I follow all these Chicago Instagram accounts because I love Chicago. And they just got snow. It's November. Come on, Seattle. Okay, anyways. This is in the shade Love Flush, and this is like the perfect winter blush. I've been wearing this almost every single day. This is part of Too Faced's, Too Faced's holiday collection. They have three different ones of these, and it comes with a trio of melted lipsticks. I actually did a whole blog post on my blog, which I'll link down below, of my October favorites, since I never posted an October Raise and Rejects video. And this is one of the products in there. I would never normally gravitate towards this color. Like, you would think it was way too dark my skin tone but it just looks like a really nice berry kind of flush uh let's do some falsy action i think i'm gonna try out these sweet eyelash eyelashes this is also from the green beauty haul probably gonna have to trim these bad boys down actually i don't know it might be good so far i really like how this foundation combo looks i feel like the blush and everything blended out really nicely on top of it and it still has some like dew to it it doesn't look fully matte which i like Okay, I really like the way these look. They're like the perfect amount of separated, and they're actually not too long or too intense. And these were super affordable. You get five pairs of them, and I think they were under $7. Alright, so the falsies are dry, and I'm going to go in with some bottom mascara. I can't find my Wet n Wild Mega Length mascara anywhere right now, so I've been using the falsies push-up, which I'm not a huge fan of for the bottom lashes, but it's here. Okay, lips. So we're just gonna do a standard red holiday lip. So I'm gonna start out by lining my lips. I'm gonna use the ColourPop lip liner in Poison. I'm just fully filling these in. I found MAC Ruby Woo on Glambot, heck yeah. In the last Glambot video, some people were curious as to how you can like sanitize lip products. What you do at makeup counters is you spray it with alcohol and wipe it off and it completely sanitizes it. Um, and you can tell that they've also chopped off the top part of it. So it's totally fine. If you are like a germaphobe, you can totally sanitize it again yourself. This is like a matte, true matte holiday red. I love this shade. All right, so this is the final look. Here's what the makeup is looking like. If you guys like this video and you want to see more Shadow and Schmooze style videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. Let me know down below what you want the next look to be. I usually ask you guys on Twitter, so make sure you're following me on there as well if you want to vote. I'll leave a link to Downbot... Downbot. I'll leave a link to Down... Seriously? I'll leave a link to Glambot down below. That took me 10 times to say. If it's your first time purchasing on there, you can use my 30% off code, which is Taylor30. All the info's in the description box. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.